Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Well, I started the day with a lie, it's no longer the morning, it is the afternoon, but oh well. Oh my god, it is such a miserable day, it's chucking it down. I didn't vlog all morning because this house was like a madhouse. There were people coming and going, I was trapped in the dining room trying to like edit my video. I'd made a coffee but I hadn't had breakfast and people were sat all the way around the dining table so I couldn't get out. It was my gran and all of her friends and like neighbours and stuff like that. So yeah, that was fun. But it is now about midday and I'm heading to the post office. I bought loads of sauce parcels with me that I needed to like return. I should have really done it a few days ago because the earlier I do it the quicker I get my um, refund but of course I keep forgetting. I've now got them in my car so I'm going to go drop them off to the post office. Hopefully I don't get rained on and then I want to try and pop to TK Maxx just for a little moot and maybe try and find the last of my Christmas presents. Don't you just love it when you get the best parking space? That is literally TK Maxx and HomeSense. I've come to this um, retail park thing. It's called the I don't actually know what it's called, but they've got a few shops here. I'm gonna pop into TK Maxx first. And then there's an outfit there, and there's a boots, and then I'll go to the post office. Da -da, managed to get some slippers for Jess. And luckily he doesn't watch my vlogs. It is such a miserable day and I really don't want to get out of the car but I realise I've been vlogging in the car all day. Another thing I love about Leicester is that I can just pull up pretty much anywhere and I don't have to pay for parking. It's so good. These street signs always confuse me because obviously I'm just so used to living in London now but it's like free for 30 minutes. I don't know if you can see that but you know, so handy. I'm just going to wait for the rain to die down a little bit but this is why me and my sister just love coming to Leicester and like trying to do as much of our like Christmas shopping or just shopping in general all my aunts do the same thing because in London you'd have to go to like a big shopping centre or you'd have to pay for parking if you just want to go to the high street and all I'm trying to do now is just run into the post office which is like a few doors down it's really hard to find parking on this road normally you have to park a bit further down but everywhere around here is free parking and it is so good this is actually ridiculous look how many parcels I have it's a bit of a joke just oh, a smallish card as long as it's way up the centre down Right, that's right. I've got scales. 145. I'll have that stamped now then, please. And what's the last? Just one. So I'm home from my travels and it is such a miserable day. It's raining, but I really want to go outside and like clean out my car. Not like wash it or anything, but I just have so much crap in it. So I could actually sit inside my car and do that, but I also have to clean out the boot. I need to get tonight's video sorted. I bought some slippers for Jas for Christmas. He doesn't watch my vlogs, at least I hope he doesn't. And even if he does, this is obviously not his main present, so it's fine. I picked these up in TK Maxx. It was quite lucky because this one didn't have a price tag on it. I hate taking off their price tags with a passion. So I found this one and I found one that did. So I asked her to scan that. So that was quite lucky. But I've just had lunch and I really fancy a chocolate. So I'm going to open up my Reese's Advent Calendar because I haven't done that for a couple of days now oh let's see the last one i've opened up is number three so number four is here oh god there we go today's the fifth so technically i can do this one too i'm going to have one chocolate in a minute. I'm also going to open up that advent calendar. I've got a couple of deliveries of stuff that I ordered like my contact lenses and Jas ordered something on Amazon. Because we're both not at home this week we thought we'd get it sent here. So luckily that's arrived. I need to put that in my car as well so that I don't forget it tomorrow. But I'm going to pull up a chair because I can't be asked to hold my camera and sit here and talk to you. Yay! Okay. So, so far this is day five of Vlogbus and I thought I would just talk you through how I'm feeling because there is nothing else that I want to do right now. Also, I have to make my chocolate. Let me grab my chocolate. What I've noticed so far is it's not difficult filming. I mean, it's never difficult filming. That's quite easy. The editing actually hasn't been too bad either. I find that vlogs are the easiest type of video to edit. And luckily, I was prepared enough. So I created like my little intro. I didn't do that myself. I got somebody else to do that for me. My little vlogmas jingle thing at the beginning of all the videos. And I also designed like a thumbnail for all of my videos as well. Just so that they look consistent. And I thought it would look a bit 
festive. Not that I'm doing anything festive for quite a while, even though it's December. So the filming and editing part is actually not that bad. What I am struggling with is obviously the upload time, just because I'm in Leicester at the moment and my grand's internet is really slow. So what I've been trying to do is edit on the same day. So I'll stay up really late. I'll stay up editing just so that I can leave my video to upload overnight. And most nights it's worked. Last night or two nights ago it didn't. And so it's always a bit of a panic in the morning trying to make sure it's okay. And then I'll wake up, I'll have breakfast and then I'll try and like design my thumbnail, think of a title. The hardest part, and I've always said this, the actual hardest part about vlogging I find is actually finding a thumbnail if you haven't already like taken a photo and just trying to find a name for the video i find that bit really difficult because it is so hard to think of a title for example if i was just film a normal sit down video and say i'm reviewing like this foundation i will just call it this foundation review if i'm just taking you to the post office like today or you know like just doing nothing really with my day what do i call it but hold on this is melting in my hand <laughs> mm. So, if I'm just vlogging and not doing anything in particular, it is so hard to think of a title. It's obviously even harder during Vlogmas because you've got to think of like 24 of them. I don't necessarily believe in clickbait, so I wouldn't like, I don't know, like I was complaining it was raining earlier, so I wouldn't like call my video, I got completely soaked and then almost hit by a bus because that didn't really happen. I'm not against clickbait, but it's really hard to explain. I don't mind it when it's not so like totally fake because I think it is a good way of like pulling viewers in but I don't know like I can't think of an example I know like quite a few years ago Este she used to be called Essie Button she titled one of her videos I'm moving to Paris or somewhere and she was just going there for the day that's ridiculous like you're not moving to Paris I wouldn't use that but I don't know what I'd use I don't really use clickbait like you guys know that so I thought I would just sit here and have a little chat with you about vlogmas and this is kind of how I'm feeling. Tomorrow I'm going home, back to London. So I feel like the whole editing and uploading part will be like a little bit easier for me just because I know that my Wi-Fi at home is fine. And obviously when I'm at home, it doesn't matter if I stay up till like 3 a.m. editing and then wake up at 10 a.m. the next day. Here I feel a little bit bad waking up late because obviously my grandparents like wake up early every day and they go to bed really early. And like, I just feel bad that I'm kind of laying in bed and not really spending time with them because that's kind of what I'm here to do. I don't even know if I really said but I'm in Leicester for a few days just because my parents are on holiday and I just don't really like the thought of them being home alone when my parents aren't around because all our other family live in London so I think my uncle came down last weekend and then my sister came down this weekend so did we and I just thought you know what I can work from anywhere like as long as I'm not really getting any PR samples and stuff like that which I don't think I will have when I get home I just see my laptop and obviously my vlogging camera and I can work from anywhere so that that is why I'm here. I'm not gonna lie. After a few days, I'm always dying to get back because Leicester is just so slow. And there's only so much you can do to entertain yourself. And I've just been feeling really bored for the past few days because all of my friends that I was supposed to meet, all my plans have like pretty much fallen through. I'm meeting one friend for dinner tonight, but another friend I was supposed to meet is ill. Somebody else I was supposed to meet, her kids are ill. Somebody else has got too much work that's just come up and she couldn't make it to Leicester. My other friend has like gone on holiday. So all my plans never really materialized, which is a bit of a shame but now I'm just like I'm dying to get home but yeah I've been waffling for ages so let me just open up the Charlotte Tilbury advent calendar while I'm here I haven't opened what have I done I've done three days so this one's next oh what's this I did kind of open this to take a photo the other day oh oh did it with one hand oh nice this is a take it all off gentle eye makeup remover. Oh my god, I literally went to Home Bargains yesterday to buy some micellar water because I've run out, but this would have been perfect. So, very happy with this indeed. Oh, this reminds me of the long con one. I think you're supposed to shake it up. Yeah, you are. Oh, that's really cool. Great. I've brought my can of Coke out to accompany me. There's so much crap here. There's loads of crap in the door. And let's do this. There's loads of stuff under the seats too. Okay, I made a little bit of a start, but it started raining and my camera got really wet, so I'm gonna stop and carry on in a little while when the rain dies down. How nice is this pub look? I'm so excited, I'm a little bit early. I was in a bit of a rush to leave the house, I don't know if I really said, but I'm meeting my friend Priya for dinner tonight. And I spent ages looking at different pubs, like in Leicester. This, I don't think this is Leicester, I think this is like Leicestershire. I'm in a place called Whetstone at a pub called The Old Vicarage, and they've got a really cool vegan menu, like the food looks so good. You need to see a menu 
and you just cannot decide what you want to eat like you want to get one of everything that's what their menu looks like because initially we were looking at like festive menus but most of the pub menus that i saw they just had like one main option and it was just a nut roast and that's really not something that i personally like so i thought we'd check this place out and it looks really cool i've never been here before it's a bit of a drive but um yeah i'm a little bit early but i'm really looking forward to seeing her because i haven't seen her for i think it's about a month to be fair You may recognise her from one of my vlogs. Hi. And we're checking out this vegan menu and this food looks so good. Very hard to decide what to order, but um, I think we made some good choices. Yeah, let's try it. Go. Let's try it first and see. <laughs> had a really nice dinner. Priya bought some cupcakes. They had some really cute like little stands in this pub. I thought the food was really good. Yeah, Did it you? was really good. Really it was good. really, really good. Especially yeah, if you're I've vegan, like it. the food was amazing. Yeah. We couldn't finish it all, it was amazing. But I'm gonna go home now. Actually, I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm just gonna go home now. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for day six. Bye.